Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to our presentation today. My name is Suzai Kelba, and this is my partner Anjali s i l a p a s a d Okay, our presentation is concerns on how to manage family business. It will be a way to cope with taking responsibility and managing the family business. Well. We would like to divide our presentations into three parts. Firstly, we would like to describe our family business. Secondly, we would like to share how to manage family business, and lastly, we would like to focus on how to import it in the future. So let's get to know the first part now. We were going to looking look at the what is the family business. Family business. What is the family business? Family business is a business that has been passed on to another generations in family members. Okay, next. Now I would like to move on to how many family business. We are divided into five parts for how to manage a family business. Okay, let's see step one: family values and business cultures. First of all, we must understand and recognize the value of the. Original family, is begin with as e x p l a t i o n s of family values. Family values focuses on what the family needs. Okay, this is the family come out of the d o r s perspective, belief that family members have in common. Um, The stakeholders in the family business must see the values of sharing, honesty, responsibility, and unity. In addition, we must learn to spend time with family and focus on business and finance. Okay, my next point is in regard to step two. Family and business visions. The family visions is a tool to help members to see the future as one image. Okay, let's see three important goals of family. Okay, step one. Goals of family members. Step two. Goal of coexistence. And last step three, go of family business. Okay, I have finished the second topic of this part, and now I will pass you over to Anjali s i l a p a s a d Thank you, Miss l e s a All right, let's see the third step: family and business strategy. It consists of two main dimension: increase the number of family members and increase the role of the family. Increase the number of family. This strategy will give family members a sense of ownership of the business, and helping family members learn the processes within the family business. Increase the role of the family. It help in decision making process in the problem that arise in the family business, and most importantly, business strategy should have a planning and identify strengths and weaknesses that need to be corrected. Next step, investing women in financial, investing in human resources such as education. Developing essential administrative skills, developing coaching leadership, or something like that. Financial investment in business are determined by three variables: one, 
the needs of business owner. Two, the needs of the family. Three, the needs of the business. And these are two aspects of investment are creating and protecting build, growth, and sustainability of family businesses. Conflict will happen if the balance is not achieved. I will focus on the last step, family and business governance. Family use family meeting as a means of getting things is this family method of cooperation when we need to plan and make decisions about things like vacation, work issues, complaints, and asking feedback. And these are steps of parallel planning process, or you can call in time. I will review again. The first step, value and culture. Next, vision. The third, strategy. The fourth, investing method and financial. And the last, family business governance. Well, I will focus on the last point. How is this important in the future? As you know, it can be seen that family business are important to national economy and the world economy. So, if you learn, you can apply the five steps to make you successful. You can manage your family business well in the future. Do you have a question? If you don't have, I just finished the presentation. Thank you for listening and watching.